We are going to be watching Wayne's World. I don't know why I sang that. Anyway, Wayne's World. Apparently there are two movies. I thought there was just one. This is a movie I feel like my mom may have had on in the background at some point in my childhood. And I was there, but I never really watched it. All I know from it is the song because my mom would sing the song a lot. The one that goes like, Wayne's World, party on, excellent. That's the extent of my Wayne's World knowledge. <laughs> I think he might be in a band and I think he has a mullet. I also do know it is Michael Myers. I also found out today this was originally an SNL skit. I think it was called Wayne's World and it became a movie from that. That's pretty interesting. We're gonna be watching both Wayne's Worlds in this video so stay Stay tuned, I mean, it's the same video. What am I saying? But if you wanna watch the full length versions of these reactions, where you can watch the entire movie from beginning to end with me, with no cuts or edits, you can do that over on Patreon. And these are our watch along formats where you sync up your copy of the movie with my reaction and then we watch it together. And the link is down below. <gasps> oh, hey, it's the song I sang. And also, so it's a show. Extreme close up. Wow! What? Our guest is Ron Paxton. Welcome to Wayne's World, Ron. So is it like a live broadcast? I'm fully prepared to give a complete demonstration. This seems inefficient. Is this like a sketch comedy type show? What are we looking at? Wayne's World. Turn it off, man! Turn it off! It's sucking my will to live! <laughs> Listen, could you turn it to Channel 10? I think we found something that we can sell to Vanderhoff. He found an investment opportunity. Hey, she was watching Wayne's World. Wayne's World and chill. That's all the time we have for this week. Until then, good night. Party on, Wayne. Are they gonna sing? Okay, I'm gonna sing it too. Wayne's World, party on. Oh, time. Oh, wait, I thought it was party on. Well, oh, I messed that up. We're clear. How do they act when they're not filming? Let me bring you up to speed. My name is Wayne Campbell. The same? I <laughs> live. In Aurora, Illinois. Is this a documentary? I think we'll go with a little Bohemian Rhapsody. <gasps> I love Bohemian Rhapsody. I see a little silhouette of a man. Got a moosh, got a moosh, <laughs> and lightning, very, very frightening. Galileo. 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 I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. I was like totally ready to sing that whole song. What is this? Why do you look like you're tweaking? What are you doing here? If you're gonna spew, spew into this. This tiny little courtesy cup. Oh, oh, are we still going? For me, for me, for me. Oh, <laughs> so try to hit the note. <laughs> so you think you can stone me and spin my eye? I want to be their friend. I've decided. This is the manager, Glenn. He's here 24 hours a day. When does he sleep? You have no work-life balance. If a man kills another man in battle, let's call it heroic. Yet if he kills a man in the heat of passion, it's called murder. Hello! Like, is this a documentary or is it like a mockumentary? But it's not even a mockumentary. Like, are they just breaking the fourth wall? Don't you guys ever get tired of ordering the same thing? No. They found what they liked and they're sticking to it. I like to be adventurous at restaurants, but I sometimes get disappointed. Happy anniversary, Wayne. What? Stacy, we broke up two months ago. She's a stage four clinger. What is it? You got a gun rack and no gun? I don't even own a gun, let alone many guns that would necessitate an entire rack. Well, if you ever get some, you have a rack, okay? Be grateful. <laughs> you don't like it? Oh my gosh, her necklace says Wayne. She's crazy. Get away from her. Get away. Looked like that said ass works. Hey, Tiny, who's playing today? Jolly Green Giants, Shitty Beatles. <laughs> Mission Impossible, that's another series of movies I have never seen before. Excuse me. What is that gadget? Wow, he blinded you with science. Oh goodness, he's in love. Did he just say swing? <laughs> Calm down, Hisoka. He just like threw a grito. <laughs> I 
This building goes all the way up. What is your single biggest problem in the arcade business? Keeping the customer informed a new product. You had a spot, say on a weekly show, that you could come on the show and update the kids on exactly what was new in your arcade. So it's just a big old marketing strategy. Noah Vanderhoff, and he asks me, What's with this show, Wayne's World, that I keep talking so much about? <laughs> the way he's twisting it. Like I said, I'm a fan. I put a show in for him, and he literally jumped out of his seat. He's a really smooth talker. Here I am with the contract and two cashier's checks for $5,000 each. Excuse me? I'm pretty sure my mom would use that phrase all the time, too. Did my mom get all of her phrases from Wayne's World? <laughs> You've made Mr. Vanderhoff a very happy man. You signed your life away. You didn't even read it. You didn't have a lawyer go over it. Stacy alert. Oh, oh no, she's here. I feel like a head banging would like hurt my neck. Your vocals are incredible. He's gonna spit his game on you. I've got something I wanna say to you. Are you gonna profess your love? Y'all just met. Then you learn how to say I look pretty in Cantonese. Oh, that was cute. Zao dog me ah. Are you thinking to the camera? <laughs> Did you ever find Bugs Bunny attractive when he'd put on a dress and play a girl bunny? That's like that one friend that says the most out of pocket thing. <laughs> Excuse me, Russell, but I believe I requested the hand job. <laughs> Five, four, three. You didn't say two or one. <laughs> These guys. Good, Terry. Uh, Wayne, Garth, don't count along. We see your mouth's moving. <laughs> oh my gosh. Four, three, guys, you're naughty. <laughs> hey, we're in New York. I've got a gun. Let's go to a Broadway show. Or say you want to go to Texas. Woo, Texas! Howdy, partners. Let's raise a rope bronco. That's how it is here. <laughs> or imagine being able to magically whisk the way to Delaware. Hi. I'm in Delaware. <laughs> I'm sure Delaware has some great stuff to do. <laughs> well, there were these kids in the airport that kept pumping quarters into a game called Pong. Well, I sat there watching and I said, hell, I'm in the wrong business. You saw dollar signs. It's so huge. Thanks. <laughs> do I frighten you? <laughs> do you want me to? <laughs> the humor is just so like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it, I love it. Asphincter says what? What? A sphincter says what? 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 Exactly. I don't get it. Look at his room. Oh my gosh! What is it? The dog has bracelets and a mullet? <laughs> what? What is it, girl? You know when they say you look like your pet? Does that mean I look like a pug? I thought I was getting meningitis. You know, I thought I had mono once for an entire year. It turned out I was just really bored. What? <laughs> you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Wait, are we done? I think I'm gonna put on some tunes. He's like ADHD embodied. <laughs> there it is, Excalibur. Wow. <laughs> he, like, nailed to <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so weird? That's the most random, like, the, like, unfocused joke of the whole movie. It was, like, the funniest thing to me. I'd like to have a look at this Fender Stratocaster, please. Oh, really? Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> this movie's so freaking funny. Have you spoken to Wayne about the Vanderhoff spot? Yes, briefly. It's not very receptive. Well, I'll explain it to him that it's not a choice. It's in his contract. See, that's what happens when you sign everything away. Should have stayed independent. You signed a contract guaranteeing him certain concessions, one of them being a spot on the show. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. Pizza Hut? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> For me, the beast doesn't include selling out. Like YouTubers when they take sponsorships be like. <laughs> Speaking of, thank you to the sponsor of this video. No, I'm just kidding. There's no sponsor for this video. <laughs> I can't talk oh my god. <laughs> Stop. What else is <laughs> Here, take two of them. It's your choice. Yes. 
and it's the choice of a new generation. Oh man, that's freaking hilarious. They laid me off. You know what I like to do? Rip his still beating heart out of his chest and hold it in front of his face. Whoa. So he can see how black it is before he dies. The world's a twisted place. Maybe it's just you. <laughs> what do you do if every time you see this one incredible woman, you, you think you're gonna hurl? I say hurl. If you blow chunks and she comes back, she's yours. <laughs> if you spew and she bolts, it was never meant to be. That's how you know she's a keeper. No, I told you next week what we <laughs> His underwear. What the heck? Is that a mummy? This is a very open concept bedroom and it makes me uncomfortable. Happy birthday, Mr. President. You're doing the Marilyn Monroe! The JFK birthday song. It sounded like I said shong. <laughs> Thursday, purchase feeble public access cable show and exploit it. He wrote that down? Oh my gosh, come on. Rib for her pleasure. Ew. <laughs> All access backstage with Alice Cooper? Thank you. Well, what about Cassandra? She and I have work to do. What are you gonna do with Cassandra? Who wants Chinese takeout? I know a great place. I'll have the cream of some young guy. <laughs> <gasps> he speaks Cantonese too. Picked up a little Cantonese when I was in the Orient. You know, you sound a lot like you're from Kowloon Bay. Uh oh, he's gonna be Mr. Steal Your Girl. If she can be stole, then she was never really your girl. Whoa. Is this Alice's limo? No, it belongs to Frank. Is that Chris Farley? I still have never seen an actual, like, dedicated Chris Farley movie where he's the lead. I don't know why I said dedicated, but a movie where he's the lead. Is this cool? <laughs> yeah, come on in. He's so chill. Do you come to Milwaukee often? Milwaukee has certainly had its share of visitors. The French missionaries and explorers were coming here as early as the late 1600s. <laughs> History lesson. We gotta get going. No, no, no. Stick around. Hang out with us. We're not worthy! Oh my gosh. Mr. Vanderhoff will be your first guest. What the hell is this? Here we go. Can I borrow your marker? I, uh, I need to make some notes. Is he gonna, like, cross it all out? Wayne's World is brought to you by Noah's Arcade. Party on, Wayne. The narrator. <gasps> they have a theme song! They didn't even get to record it. How awful. You're ruining the integrity of the show. Is that a Ouija board? What the heck? What is your most popular video game right now? <laughs> Are there long lines for your more popular games? Well, at Noah's Arcade. <laughs> You're fired. Fired? For that? Yeah. That's it. I'm out of here. And I'm taking my show with me. We own the show. You signed it a freaking way. You really pissed me off tonight. You shouldn't have walked out on the show. He's confronting him. You know what you can do with your show? You can take a fight. <laughs> oh my gosh. He really found his voice. And it got <laughs> drowned out by the airplane. Oh, well, I guess Benjamin will be there too. Maybe he thinks I've got some talent. Maybe he's poking you. Whoa. Well, first he screws me, then he screws you. It's Dutch door action. <laughs> I think you better leave. Oh, you ruined it, dude. You know, if you stab a man in the dead of winter, steam will rise up from the wounds. Oh, yeah. He has something he's not telling people. Mr. Big, the guy who owns Sharp Records. But there's only a way that we can get him to listen to Cassandra play. Oh. You remember the security guard at the concert? He said Mr. Sharp was driving back to Chicago on Friday. Thank you, Chris Farley. Uh-oh, you're gonna get pulled over because you're driving crazy. Yes, officers, there's something wrong. Have you seen this boy? Oh my gosh, what the heck? There's a freaking Terminator 2 reference in this movie? That is... <laughs> what are the chances of that? Like, I literally just watched that. Campbell, wait up. Oh. I know I don't have his money. She chose you. Take your yap and get in the car. Go film one in Wayne's basement. Benjamin... Were an ice cream flavor, he'd be pralines and dick. <laughs> what? It's okay. Dang! Garth really found his voice. Would you mind turning around and placing your hands on the hood, son? There's just one other thing I've got to check. <laughs> Whoa! This is a special Wayne's World, okay? If you're watching, and if you like what you see, we're at 2234 Pine Way in Aurora, Illinois. I see a man in the back, it's a man. Woo, go Cassandra. Even though you getting this record deal is literally you just signing another contract, but you go. I saw your performance in my limo. Although you're extremely beautiful, I just think it's the wrong time. What? You screwed my career. <laughs> oh my God. 
I always knew you were small time. He drove all the way around to just deny her? I'm pregnant. That's why I've been so moody. She's pregnant. Well, everything is going wrong. Oh, there's a fire on top of <laughs> her. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. Now his house just burnt up. What? Why did everything that could go wrong went wrong? You got Murphy's Laud. You didn't really think she'd end up with Wayne, did you? What? As if. As if we'd end the movie like that. Oh, okay. Let's do the Scooby Doo ending. Good call. Okay, what? Okay, all right, here we go. Let's run it back around. That was just so chaotic and quick. There's one last thing. Let's just see who you really are, mister. <laughs> Why, it's old man Withers, the guy who runs the haunted amusement park. <laughs> yeah, but I think we should do the mega happy ending. Oh, the mega happy ending, that's doable. So many alternate endings here. I like how every time he walks in like this, <laughs> even in the mega happy ending. I love you, Wayne. I love you, Cassandra. The super extra happy ending. Everything's you, perfect. Oh, you too, Garth. <laughs> you know, ever since I did your show, kids are looking at me in a whole new way. <laughs> Fish in. Fished in? What? <laughs> that was it! Wayne's World! That was really funny. Really quirky. I was not expecting it to be like that, but it was fun. It was kind of like really heavy on the absurdist humor, which I was not expecting, but I really loved. A lot of fourth wall breaking, which was cool and different. It just like felt really fun. And I know this is not a new movie, of course, by any means, but for me watching it, it just felt like a very fresh, fun experience, something you don't typically see, especially in modern comedies. I like the fun, silly, to it the whole like tv show rock music element surrounding it too i feel like it was just like a fun movie is the best way to describe it like if you just want to laugh and just have a fun movie watching experience then this is like the perfect one it kind of does make me curious what the second one is going to be about because this felt like a pretty encompassed story in a weird way but like it just it felt like okay this was the story like what else are they going to do are they going to still just be doing their show which is funny because i did did not realize that Wayne's World was their own little TV show. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're moving on to Wayne's World 2. You've probably noticed by now that we're on a little early today. We were able to talk Plant World into changing with Cooking World. Fortunately, White Supremacy World was canceled. <laughs> what? Because we're going to a concert tonight in Chicago. We will be seeing Aerosmith. <gasps> Aerosmith? It's Wayne's World! Wayne's World, party time, excellent. I got it down finally, even though I almost said party on again. Garth, to the Mirthmobile. They're still the same. Oh, I almost forgot. This year, Garth finally got pubes. <laughs> what? You are listening to WPIG The Pig. What song are we going to get now? I want to rock out with them again. Welcome to Makita's, how may I serve you? That head is so freaky. Oh, that's really him. Look at that. Whoa. He just had like a nervous breakdown. I like how they always have a rock star in these movies. Flash the laminate. Cassandra! Campbell. And Christopher Walken! I got like so excited for him. <laughs> oh my gosh, there they go again. Stop worshiping celebrities. You guys were excellent tonight. They're never gonna wash their hand again. Oh, jeez. Who's that? Garth, it's Heather Locklear. Hey, you're with Cassandra. Are you coming? Oh, yeah. We're, we're supposed to be in there. No, you're not. Oh, you don't have the upgraded, upgraded pass. Hey, are you those two guys who have the TV show in Aurora? Hey, you're getting recognized. No. Appreciate your fans. How long does it take for you to get here from Aurora? Hey, you're asking too many questions. Weird. Dogs. Does he sleep in his hat? <laughs> what the heck? Who are you? What is this? Where? Like, what is even going on? You must go on a great quest. Who are you? I'm Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison? What? Ask me a question. Two trains are traveling at 60 miles an hour. One from Chicago, one from Los Angeles. That's the question you ask? You must go to England and find a man named Del Preston. He's the greatest roadie that ever lived. Really are getting sent on a side quest. Will Garth ever get his Sports Illustrated football phone? 
will arrive tomorrow along with the swimsuit issue and video Stanley Cup 100 Years of Glory. So I'm guessing you're going to England. He told me that the purpose of my life was to put on a concert. My Sports Illustrated football phone. Oh my God. Everything from your dream. Go, Christopher Walken. We're gonna put on a concert in Aurora. What's it called? Waynestock. It's called Waynestock. That's a really good name. Who's gonna be at Waynestock? Aerosmith and Pearl Jam. No way. <laughs> oh my gosh. How are you gonna get them? And, uh, Van Halen. Oh, no, no, no. You're like digging yourselves into the ground. A sphincter says what? Oh, that's like that thing they always say that I still don't really get. You want me to say what? Like... I don't get it. Oh, like they're calling you a sphincter? Can't believe Paramount is spending the money to fly us to England. I would have thought they would just use two doubles. <laughs> wow, what a shitty circus. <laughs> oh, the doubles. You woke me up. How can you sleep like that? Are you a vampire? We came all the way from America just to talk to you. I don't do concerts anymore. What else do you gotta do? Sleep upside down? I guess Jim was wrong. Was it Jim Morrison? I had the same dream. Wow, then you'll help them. I hear you're putting on some kind of concert. People need to be entertained. I wish to God that somebody would do something to block out the voices in my head for five minutes. Oh my goodness. Voices that scream over and over. Why do they come to me to die? You need some help. Get that is soda. Light. Their car literally has everything you could want. Joe, could we have the uh, permits for a festival, please? You're the guy that's on that Wayne World show. That's either going to be like your love interest or like your long lost sister. Can you believe they're not making vinyl anymore? It's weird, isn't it? Hey, it's back in now. There's like a niche market for it. Bobby says. Are you and Bobby having an affair? Oh, goodness. Here he goes again. Hello. Would you like some red rope licorice? <laughs> you were eating that. Ew. Well, look at that. Oh my gosh. He's not gonna be able to handle it. What's your name? Garth, Garth Algar. I'm Honey, Horne. <laughs> nice to meet you, Miss Horny. That's Horne. Horne? Oh, Garth. Uh, forgot these. <laughs> your teeny tiny little underwear. I'm the leprechaun. Stop it, all right? Don't try and steal me, Patago. This was him preparing for Shrek. Meeting the dad. Hey, Cassandra, you look hot. Hey, is that, um, David Lopan? It's not going well. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> they got dumped. <laughs> So random. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, they yes, fly through the air. I love when they do that in martial arts movies. <laughs> His jeans are not ripped anymore. <laughs> Wayne, you've impressed me. You're worthy of my daughter. You won her hand. Here's the deal. We got a party tomorrow at Comrades. And because it's at Comrades, we're going to call it a communist party. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Whoa. Yeah, he's definitely gonna get jealous. Whoa. Okay, I don't know if you would dance with your co-worker like this though. Whoa. You guys got the permit applications? Look, it's your love interest sister. They really do a lot together, though, even outside of the studio. Position one to position two. What is it? Does she notice him? Abort! Abort! We have been identified! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh goodness, Christopher Walken's running after you. What's the matter, Wayne? You look like you want to say something to me. He doesn't trust you. I think we should break up. Whoa, you didn't even want to, like, ask her about it first? There comes a time... When people should go their separate ways. I don't think she's cheating on you. Even though she was dancing really close to him. Let's talk about that. Where did these come from? I did a little detective work. <laughs> Whoa! I think she took that well. I mean, that made her seem really suspicious, though. <laughs> What's keeping you here? Because I got no place else to go. I feel like this is a movie reference I am not getting. <gasps> Whoa! 
laundromat woman. I was gonna call her a girl, but she is definitely a woman. I love the way those big, thick glasses magnify your pupils. He's gonna like spontaneously combust. <laughs> I'm dancing. This is so awkward. What the heck? Take me, Garth. <laughs> I'm gonna be Frank. Can I still be Garth? <laughs> Whoa, Garth. <laughs> he was floating. <laughs> she picked him up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good morning, darling. He's a changed person. Women. I feel like I've been placed in the delete bin of life next to Mahogany Rush. I mean, you broke up with her. Sandra, no, I haven't seen her. She said she might come to LA. She wasn't definite. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. I have to <gasps> Ooh, Cassandra. Important call? Ah, some small time promoter. But he lied, though. She technically didn't. It's still weird. They were dancing so close and having lunch together. After the show, I thought we After might. After the show, I have to fly back to Aurora. I'm doing Wainstock, remember? Aw, she's still doing it. And I'd also like to address a rumor that none of the bands have signed and that probably no one's going to show up. Why are you saying all this? Did someone hurt you? I mean, I'll take care of it. I'm a grown-up now, you know. <laughs> it's my husband. You're married? And he came over here yesterday and he, he, he was crazy like an animal. Look what you got yourself messed up in, Garth. Oh, I wish someone would kill him. <laughs> I mean, I know you love me, but I won't let you kill my husband. Oh my gosh. I know you want to. Get me my cigarettes. Would you love her? Her purse was right behind her. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. She's literally trying to get you to kill her husband. Oh my gosh. He is a dead man. Oh goodness. Garth, how could you be a murderer? Well, would you look at that? People are showing up. They must have bought the tickets. Whoa. You haven't booked any bands. Did you even book them? He said if you book them, they'll come. I cannot find your daughter. I have chosen another for my daughter. Whoa. He goes by the name of Bobby. Bobby. That's my purse. I don't know you. They are to be married at the First Presbyterian Church on Gordon Street. Freaking Cassandra. Maybe you should just let her go. Let her go. She's willing to marry another. <laughs> Take the chicken with you. Wow, you have a full crowd and no performers. <gasps> Jesus. What is that them? Oh, uh, that is not them. Oh my gosh. Wrong wedding. Oh no, you went to the second one. Here we go again. <gasps> oh no. I think you should just let her go. Perfectly timed bus. Stevenson Park, step on it. What about the rest of Cassandra's band? Jim, none of the bands have showed up. I know, and they're not gonna show up. What? Why were we supposed to put on the concert? Because you had to try and do something with your life. Oh no. Well, that's embarrassing. I think Jim Morrison really screwed y'all over. We don't want to end the movie this way, do we? Let's do the Thelma and Louise ending. I haven't seen Thelma and Louise. Don't they like drive off a cliff together? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's just keep going, Wayne. Okay, oh, they did drive off the cliff. We don't want to end the movie like this. Let's do the happy ending. Yeah. It's funny how they have a bunch of different alternate endings all the time. All the time. In the first movie and now this one. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, that's like a limo version of like the Mirthmobile. Oh, it's Aerosmith. <laughs> well, how did that happen? Being an adult means facing responsibility yet still taking the time to have fun well thank you for the words of wisdom jim morrison <gasps> the aftermath is he gonna have the tear yes like the littering and then the tear i feel like that the tear thing is gagged so much in movies so i don't really think that i liked wayne's world 2 as much as i liked the first one there were definitely a lot of elements i did like about it like i, I like the whole plot line with the wayne stock thing you know that was really fun like getting all these different rock stars <laughs> to come perform and then a lot of just like the rock music references there was tons of cameos which was fun but I think just in terms of the movie as a whole, I did like the first one a little bit more. I think I laughed a lot more during the first one. I think the second one, though, did still have a lot of solid jokes. 
Some of them probably went over my head just because I didn't understand the reference and that's definitely more of like a me problem <laughs> for sure. But also some of the gags, I just feel like didn't hit the same as they did in the first movie. Maybe it's because we kind of already had seen it in the first movie, so to see it again, I don't know, that's just how I feel. But I do think that the movie kind of got better and better towards the end, like I really liked the end of it a lot more than it kind of started off. Regardless, both of these movies, the comedy style is really fun. It's like that absurdist gag, satirical type comedy, a little bit of slapstick here and there. It does kind of make me curious what the original SNL skit was like. I never seen that. Maybe I'll go back and watch that just to kind of compare the two and see like how do they create two movies based off of that skit there. It was also really fun to see a lot of the 90s references. I mean, it wasn't references at the time because it was in the 90s, but looking back at it now, kind of seeing the time period was really, really cool. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.